False expectations appear in real. Face your fear, see what it reveals. False expectations appearing real. Face your fear, see what it reveals. See, fear stands for false expectations appearing real. And this video is all about facing our fears about what the other people are going to think about us. There's a great quote that says, Those who make a difference make a difference because they are different. And so many times in my life I've been scared or apprehensive to do something and then I finally do it and I see that my fear was just a false expectation that was appearing real in my mind. So I highly encourage you to face your fears, expand your comfort zone, because those who make a difference make a difference because they are different. So, be yourself and free yourself. There's so many good memes to remind yourself of this and I'm gonna post a bunch of videos that are echoing this same concept and that have inspired me to be myself and to not be scared of what other people are gonna think because I'm just, so many of my friends have been echoing this too that, well, there's a lot of different levels to it but one thing is like people are scared to go to events by themselves or um, you're scared to just go somewhere, do something alone. But once you go and do something alone, you meet someone new or you have a wonderful experience that you wouldn't have had if you just stay home because you're scared that people are gonna think you're lonely or something. So just be yourself and free yourself. And my challenge for you is to write down in a notebook. I highly recommend getting a notebook if you don't have a notebook. And it's starting to rain, but I'm not scared of the rain because being scared of the rain is a false expectation appearing real. And I gotta peel the onion peel and see what is revealed because something is always concealed in every fear. But anywho, the challenge is to get a notebook and to write down 10 different things that you are scared or apprehensive to do or say. So these could be places you're scared to go, people you're scared to talk to, something you're scared to admit to somebody else, or it could be just you're scared to sing in public. I used to be really scared to sing because I thought people would make fun of me, but once I started singing, people are like, oh, you have a great voice, keep singing. And what happens is when you face your fear and you have no shame in your game, people, other people see that and they're inspired and it, and it empowers other people to live from their true nature and to just be themselves because when you be yourself, you free yourself scoobly do so the challenge is write down 10 things that you're scared or apprehensive to do and then the next step is to say what what is holding you back from doing those things I mean maybe it's just fear in general and also write down what it would take what you think it would feel like for you to do that challenge so I highly recommend trying this I'm gonna do it myself. I'm gonna write down these 10 things that I'm scared or apprehensive to do or say, and then reflect on what is holding me back from doing that. And then the next part of the challenge is to start doing these things, and then we can reflect in our notebooks on how, how it felt to actually do this. I'm, I'm in this class where we're doing a lot of reflecting in our notebooks and I've really come to see how powerful it is. So please do that. Do whatever makes you happy. Just be yourself and free yourself because false expectations seem to appear real. And when you face your fears, you can see what is revealed. Peace. So much is happening in the world. It is an amazing time to be alive. 
if you're scared of joining the Occupy movement, then maybe you should join the Occupy movement near you. But the main thing is to face fears because fears are silly and we should just laugh at our fears because they're silly as hell. Peace and love, my friend. Check out all the links. Get yourself a notebook. Do your thing. What's up, Sam? I know you're watching. <laughs> peace, brother man. <laughs> and peace to you as well.